Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the Adobe Benchmark Geekbench 5 and CPU test of the IQ90 versus the OnePlus 10T. So guys, these two handsets are the 12GB to 5GB variants. So I would show you the memory information right now. So settings, about device, and you can see it's uh, the 12GB version and I have extended the uh, RAM expansion to the 7 GB and over here you can see it's uh, 12 plus 4 GB and both are powered by the same 8 plus gen 1 by Snapdragon okay and this is manufactured by TSMC not Samsung as we seen on the 8 gen 1 so guys let's start from the Adundo benchmark first so guys these are the scores which I have got on the IQ90 versus the OnePlus 10T and you can see it scored about 9,54,000 and versus 9 lakh on the OnePlus 10T and you can just check the CPU scores and you can see the CPU scores is slightly higher on the IQ90 2,29,000 versus 2,16,000 over here and let's check the GPU so same case with the GPU also 4,71,000 versus 4,55,000 so the IQ uh, is just leading and over here it's also the same case 1,41,000 versus 1,24,000 and over here it's almost the same 1,11,000 okay so guys now look at the temperatures on the IQ9 so you can see from 31 degrees Celsius all the way up to 37 degree on the IQ90 so you can see 6 degree Celsius is being increased on the IQ90 and approximately 4% uh, percent of the battery is being dropped and on the OnePlus 10T you can see from 30 to 34.7 approximately 5 uh, degree Celsius is being hyped 4.7 degree to be exact and 4% of the uh, battery is being dropped so exactly the same uh, amount of battery is being dropped on these two phones and actually uh, slightly cooler on the OnePlus 10T but not by only just by 1 degree Celsius so it's almost a tie but the scores is higher on the uh, IQ90. So now let's check the storage test you can see so 74 versus 63 so 74,000 is the scores on the IQ90 and 63,000 is the scores on the OnePlus 10T so approximately margin by 10k difference and let's check the sequence read speed so actually 28,000 to 26,000 yes uh, slightly higher and on the right speed it is 23 versus 16 oh that's a marginal difference between uh, these uh, both of them approximately 7k difference and uh, then the random X speed is almost same that means 21k versus 20k okay now let's look at the Geekbench 5 on both so guys this is a Geekbench scores and you can see uh, 1306 versus 1012 on the OnePlus 10T so again higher over 90 and on uh, the multi-core score 3888 on the IQ90 and just 3366 on the OnePlus 10T so in the terms of the benchmark actually IQ90 uh, is slightly higher than that of the OnePlus 10T even those uh, two of these handsets have the same uh, LPDR5 of 3.1 and the same Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1. So guys, this is the CPU throttle test scores of the IQ90 versus OnePlus 10T. So 76% of throttled on the uh, IQ90 and 79 throttled on the OnePlus 10T. So 3 percentage the uh, OnePlus 10T is slightly better than the IQ90. So actually the issues with the 8 Gen 1 was the CPU was throttling really high and the phone get really hot. But definitely the 8 plus 1 was really improved. Uh, so the heating issues was very minimal actually i could see the temperatures only around between 40 degrees which is not beyond that most of the time it was around 40 degree uh, i do play games also but actually it was staying around 40 41 39 40 41 30 uh, approximately in these areas so it handled really well but actually i do expect the scores around 85 percentage that means um, uh, approximately i expected five percentage more better uh, on these eight plus gen but actually this is the initial scores actually the processor is just launched recently so might be after few software operations it's got really improved and if you compare directly with the eight gen one this got really improved and uh, one more thing is this chip is manufactured by TSMC, not Samsung as we've seen on the 8 Gen 1. So guys, that's it regarding the Adobe Benchmark, Geekbench 5 and the CPU Rotel test on the IU90 versus OnePlus 10D. Signing off, guys, it's for Mania.